we made it to another rocky outcrop and this is wicked um, I can't pronounce the word, uh, the word. It's, uh, its name is uh, something like uh, Shakunga um, I'm at the top of the hill you got these absolutely incredible big boulders in behind me on top of the hill here but uh, a terrific view out over the pastures now I'm not too sure whether this is higher than uh, Fildapa Rock or not. Certainly feels like it. So, um, well, back over here behind me is Fildapa Rock where we were. I think you can see a radio tower further behind this marker here. We were on the other side of that last night. But yeah, what a cracking spot up here. It is awesome. Little pools about, these wicked rock formations. They just remind me so much of oh, everywhere we've been where we see these kind of rocks. Uh, Devil's Marbles and Murphy's Haystacks. Um, then you've got the Wave. Um, yes, certainly a uh, staggering little spot, little vantage point. Nice little camp spot. Um, down where we're parked there, I'll go and show you the, uh, the little hut that was formed. Obviously, they're taking a lot of rainwater off of here. Um, down to another little dam, so uh, motorhomes just down over here and uh, to the right of that is one of the uh, little huts that was here when they built the water station and then it's had various uses since then but an absolute cracking spot, love it. With the camera out that way, looking at these these fantastic views off to the uh, off to the right of me, of all the pastures, the Gower Ranges out in the distance, and then on the left of me, massive boulders. Check this one here out, Jude. It's got the the big hole up underneath it. it looks like a turtle because it's got all those turtle jacks. <laughs> it, it does look like a turtle shell. I'll say that it's joined together and then this. Front one's forward and that lands on top of it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then down here in front of us, obviously a major part of the runoff from the rock would disappear down this way here. So uh, just over there yeah. is the water tank. So as it oh, goes yeah. down, you can see the, the runoff, what goes, and then there's this huge water tank, which you go and have a... Just the other side of the trees, we're going to check it out, eh? Go and have a look at the water tank. I just can't believe the amazing construction they did in those days. You've, they've actually built an uh, edge around to, um, so when it comes off the rock, it goes into the edge and it flows down through here and into here. Now that's a rocky outcrop, right? Sorry for the echo. Um, that's a rocky outcrop. And then they've got to dig down into this to make it a tank. And this would have had a roof on top of it. It's just amazing construction, for, especially, was it 1914? 1914, the, uh, the project was sort of all started. Get the camera back around here. Come on, where are you? There you go. Yeah, about 1914. So um, I don't know whether you know, some of the more concrete works or whatever's been um, later on after that. But um, yeah, and then the irrigation would have been used on certain crops or um, out to water troughs or something like that for stock. But um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It is. <laughs> so here we go inside the little cottage you can smell the smoke which isn't from years and years ago I think just recently it's actually quite a probably a nice little cottage to seek a little bit of refuse in and have your have your tucker yeah, but uh, but seen plenty of fires going in that fireplace it's a nice new roof and it's a shame it's been redecorated <laughs> 
Pretty cool. It's got a uh, water supply little tank out the back. There's your chimney over there. And there it is. The word, the word I cannot pronounce, can you? It's meant to be shark. I think the T is meant to be silent. So, Sharkulda. Sharkudu. Sharkudu. <laughs> Originally built around 1915 as surveyors, workman hut, when the building of the dam, uh, the tank and the drains for the town's water supply. Well, there you go, town's water supply. It had many uses, and the last being the home of much loved Aboriginal couple affectionately known as Tom and Tilly. There you have it. Yeah. Right. A great little campground. Um, plenty of uh, little sites around where you can park at. A um, few little trees to shelter in if you need be. There's a concrete pad over there if you want it. Little concrete pad, a couple of little concrete pads there, yeah. Nice and flat. And uh, <laughs> a little outdoor dunny. A real good old fashioned long drop, that one. And just through the trees a bit further is a nice little picnic area with a gas barbecue. And um, yeah, a little tank of water there, but not potable. the northern lights flash took a photograph on a paris street have you ever climbed a tall tree asked someone for mercy gave something away that wasn't free. i don't want to get a vision of you stuck in my head because i know that